Hey YouTube, welcome to Organized Chaos. Now with this call, he was actually a lot of fun. And if you've watched my videos for a while, you know that demanding doesn't really get him very far. On top of that, there was a second scammer who was just really confused on how to use a phone. Now if you like the video and you like this kind of content, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Not only does it let me know that you guys like it, but it also lets YouTube know that you guys like it. And please, share this video with any of your family or friends, especially if they're elderly. The only way we're going to beat these kind of scams is by spreading awareness of them. And hopefully one day we're able to get that number down to zero victims. Now, as always, on to the call. Uh, so I received a voicemail, uh, I believe it was yesterday, saying that I had won some kind of prize and to call this number to try to claim it. Uh, do you know anything about this? What I want you to do, buddy, you're going to get yourself two claimers card in your position, <clears throat> and you're going to give me a call back at this line, okay? Is it possible for you to get these two claimers card, one for your check and one for your car? Uh, I... I'm sorry, uh, for a check and a car, it, did I win some money? Right. Right. You were selected in the Powerball promotion here for this month's grand prize, luckily winner of a whopping $18.5 million. Hugo made out on a certified check in your name, all right? And I've got to get these claim cards to be able to receive my prize? Yeah. Okay. Uh, is it possible? Yeah. Is it possible? Yeah, I, I, I can definitely get those claim cards if it means that I get my eighteen and a half million. Oh my god. Um. Uh. Do, what? What? What's? What kind of cards? Where do I get them at? Do I get them like special at a bank or what? Where, where do I go? What do I do? Okay. Um. Do you know where to locate a Rite Aid or Seven Eleven? Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a 7-Eleven, like, five minutes away from my house, a, ju a couple blocks away. Uh, do they have these claim cards there? Yeah, you're gonna go to the cashier and let them know that you want two American Express Visa gift cards for $500 a piece, okay? And you're gonna keep your business private, alright? Okay, so... The Visa, I'm sorry, can you say what kind of cards they are again? You said Visa Express cards? No, it's American Express Visa gift cards. Oh, American Express Visa okay. gift cards, okay. Yeah. Is that music in the background? No, no. Oh, okay. Okay, so American okay. Express Visa gift cards? Yeah. Is okay. Is it possible for you to get those? Yeah, definitely. How much is it going to cost me? Yeah, I told you the cards are going to be $500 a piece for the cards. Oh, 500 Are you playing a yeah. radio in the background? No, no. It's our line. It's probably a bad connection we're having you here and something breaking in the background. Oh, okay. Okay. So I, I go down and I get two American Express Visa gift cards, uh, two of them for $500 yeah. each. Yeah. Would okay. Is possible for you to do that today? Yeah, yeah, I could definitely do that, John. That is 100% doable. Um when when am I supposed to be receiving my prize? Uh, what kind of car is it? Uh, like, do you know any details? Once you, listen, once, listen, listen, listen. Once you get the once you get those claimers cards, I will let you know for the more information. Okay. Okay. So go and get them, and I will talk to you. Okay. Okay. So I I'll go down to the Seven Eleven, and I'll I'll get those gift cards for you. And uh, I'll give you a call right back at this number, okay? 
Yeah, and remember my name. I am your agent, okay? Okay, John Wallace, right? Right. Okay, not a problem. Okay, so John, I'll go down to the 7-Eleven and I will get those gift cards for you, okay? Okay, bye. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, it's John Wallace. Hey, John. How are you doing? Did I'm you doing good. Everything? How are you? I'm doing great. Did you get everything? Uh, I did get the two uh, gift cards. They were out of the American Express one, so I had to get a one vanilla card. Okay. And how much did you got? Uh, two of them for $500 each. But I did have some questions about uh, my prize winnings. Yeah. We're so, going to get to there in a minute. So uh, when exactly am I supposed to be receiving my prize? Well, as soon as you receive these documents pertaining what is going to be happening what is really taking place and the fee that is going to be crossing state to state boundaries so you would see that and everything towards your prize okay okay when am i supposed to see those documents you do have a valid email address right yes i do okay we could have some legal documents posted towards your email once we have finished so that you could see what's really going on here also on the side, all right? Okay, so am I supposed to get the prize today, tomorrow? When exactly am I supposed to be getting it? Well, your prize has been scheduled for this Friday coming, so we want to move as fast as possible. Well, who exactly is going to be presenting the check then? <laughs> You're going to have Deborah Holland and also me. Oh, uh, you're going to be there, Mr. Wallace. Be... Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Okay. That. Where exactly are you guys going to be flying to or flying from? You're in the state of Arizona, right? That is correct. Okay. Well, we're going to be leaving out to New York, Jericho, New York, Winter Circle 101. Okay. Oh, is that your corporate office? Right. That's where the main branch is located. Oh, okay. And uh, how exactly are you going to be getting the car here? And what kind of car is it that you're going to be bringing? Yeah, as I was stating, that we're going to be having a dealership in your state of Arizona been taken out of Mercedes the one day you would rather all right that's a 2024 okay so you don't worry yourself okay so i can basically pick any 2024 mercedes no they already have the mercedes it's only the car you would have only go and pick up it's a dle 63 okay what i want for you to do is to provide me with the card information um, so that we can get them processed, okay? Uh, I do have a couple more questions, though. Is that okay, John? Go ahead. Okay, so where yeah, yeah. where exactly are you guys uh, going to be flying to? Are you going to be flying uh, down to down to my state or just to the closest airport? We're going to be coming down to your state over to your home. Once we reach there, we will let you know, okay? Okay, so and, you don't have to worry and are that. you going to be bringing a legal team with you uh, so that I can be able to uh, sign some documents? Because I imagine that with uh, $18.5 million, there's a lot of uh, paperwork that I have to sign for. That is the reason why I wanted. I'm going to be having some documents. Um, been brought over up on your delivery date okay so you could have them signed it off okay so you're going to be bringing some documents but is there a legal team a legal person who's going to be coming who's assigned with your legal department to be able to have me sign paperwork yes indeed 
Okay. We're going to be having a few lawyers. Also. Okay, that's good because I want to be able to so make sure that all that is taken care of. Uh, another question. Do you have any sec any kind of security that's going to be coming? So that way I know that I am safe and secure because the last thing that I want is to be able to be robbed, you know, going to the bank or, you know, traveling anywhere. I really like it to be able to have have some kind of shut security up. there uh, i'm sorry did you just tell me shut up did you hear me telling you to listen and you're talking listen okay wait no okay. john john did you just tell me to shut up shut up shut up, shut up and listen to me hey hey john Please. that is not I, how you're supposed you to be to talking to a customer here i am now a millionaire and you need to respect me on top of the fact that I am a customer. You do not tell a customer right. to the shut customer up. Customer is always right. Listen, I know. Exactly. Listen, so can you please? Right. So John, you can you please apologize? No, talk. John, please apologize for telling me that. Apologize to tell you to shut up because you're not shutting up. Because I want to explain something towards you. Well, I you want me to apologize for, for yes, that? because that's very rude to say I to a customer. Can you please like apologize that. to me? That was very, very rude of you. You apologize first. Okay, I I apologize for trying to ask questions when I am a customer, and that is my right. Now I want you to apologize. No, 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 no that's not what you're going to apologize for. You're going to apologize. But when I'm telling you to hold on and you're talking and you hear I'm telling you to hold on and so I could explain something. Okay, no, you, John, that's apologize. not my fault that you're trying to talk over me while I ask okay. questions, which is a very okay. valid okay. thing to be okay. doing okay. as a customer. Listen, listen, I am – no, you listen, John. Listen, I'm trying to just get okay. this, get these questions answered. John? Apologize. And I'm telling you I'm not going to apologize for telling you to shut up. Because I know I'm not right. You know you're not right, you know? So you should shut up and listen to me. Hey, Can no, you do that? No, I want to speak with your supervisor. I want to speak to a supervisor about this because it is very rude of you to be on, telling me, me that. Hold on, let me pat you over. Hold on, hold on, let me pat you over. Because I, I, I don't want to be the one to have it with you today. Okay? Seems you're very out of proportion and i don't want you to try to let me lose my job so i let you talk to someone okay Bye. okay but i Hold have i have these gift cards i want to be able to receive my prize and i don't understand why you, everyone with this company is making it so difficult hello how are you doing uh yes hello uh can i please get your name my name is marion white okay Oh, hi, Marion. First time hearing my name? Yes, it is. Hello. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Hugo Weaver. Uh, apparently, I am a okay, uh, I am a prize winner. Uh, I won eighteen and a half million dollars in a vehicle, and I uh, the okay. reason I'm requesting for you is because your employee John Wallace told me multiple times to shut up, which is not very professional and. Uh, I would just like to file a complaint with you being his supervisor. Okay, okay. I understand now. So, Hugo, um, so what did Mr. Wallace told you to do? Uh, what exactly do you mean? Uh, I've... Uh, he told me to go and get gift cards for him, and I got these gift cards to be able to, uh validate uh my ch my prize winning check and my car and i have those in my possession and as i was trying to ask questions that's when everything started going awry okay okay i understand all right uh, well we'd have to go and talk to mr wallace about that okay okay so i will go ahead and see you now with you okay hugo okay Okay, so state state your business. Uh, well, I'm just trying to uh, 
turn in these gift cards that uh, Mr. Wallace wanted me to grab for him uh, so that I can be able to get my prize on Friday, like he said. So at this time, you would have any questions that you would like to ask me about your prize? Uh, Yeah, I was trying to ask about security. Is there going to be any kind of security there, uh, any kind of armed guards or anything, so that way I don't have to worry about being robbed once I get my money and take it to the bank? That's probably my biggest worry because I don't want to be another statistic of somebody who wins a prize and then ends up getting robbed at the bank and loses everything. Okay. All right. Um, so at this time, you said you have the cards, right? Yes, I have the two vanilla gift cards that uh, John Wallace wanted me to get for him. Uh, you were asking the color I, of the card? You were asking the color of the card? Yeah. Uh, Am I on speaker? Yeah, you're on speaker. Uh, I don't know if I feel comfortable with that. Would you be able to take me off of off of speaker? Okay, I take you off of speaker. Can you hear me now? Uh, Yes, I can hear you. Uh, Yes, I can hear you. But I can still hear that I'm on speaker. But I can still hear that I'm on speaker. Can you hear? I took it off. Are Are you sure you took it off this time? Uh, Nah, I still hear myself in the background. Okay, um, I'm trying. Okay, there it is. Okay, so I should be good now. Okay, so you're going to provide me with the 16-digit number slowly. All right. Okay, no problem. It is four one one eight one zero three zero five zero eight eight nine four one two. Hold on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, You're going too fast. Take your time. I, uh, can you please take me off of speaker? Because I don't feel comfortable giving out this information where just about anyone can hear it. Well, I took you off of speakers because you were moving a bit fast a while ago. That's the reason why I put you on speaker. So you have to take your time. All right. Okay, so we'll try it again. Uh, the number is four one one eight one zero three zero five zero eight eight nine four one two. Okay, okay. So um, I'm gonna get that process and call you back. All right. Oh, okay. Um, not a problem. Uh, what should I do in the meantime? Easiest way for my call is, and if you don't see me call, you call me. Okay. As soon as it gets registered in the system, I will let you know, okay? Okay, no problem. And, uh, okay, so I'll give you a call back, or I should hear from you in about five minutes, okay? Okay, you be safe now, all right? Okay, thank you, Marianne. I'll speak with you in about five minutes. Speak with you in about five minutes.